Hi, Neil Williams here, president of Turnkey Parlor, and today uh, we're working with our Oxford OX500 frozen yogurt machine. And what we're going to do is a little trick. Um, a lot of people don't realize that it's important how much air is mixed into the uh, liquid frozen yogurt uh, to get a, a, the, the creamiest possible product coming out of the machine. Um, a lot of times you'll go into yogurt stores, whether they have $15,000 Taylor machines or Stoltings and you see that the product is runny or soft or icy or dark and it's just not that good. It's too dense. Um, they're not monitoring the amount of air that's in the cylinder in relation to the amount of liquid mix that's in the cylinder. So um, what you do is to monitor that, if you see that the product is getting a little softer icy, frozen yogurt in general is going to be a little softer, a little more wet than uh, basic ice cream or soft serve ice cream because you've got different things. Um, it's a different consistency to begin with with live active cultures and so on. Um, but you have to monitor it throughout the day just to make sure that you're serving uh, the softest, creamiest product in the best condition. A little trick that we have with our machine to get air into the cylinder if you're sensing that the product is getting too icy or soft or dense is Right now the machine is kicking in, just so you know what that noise is. The machine is kicking in and telling the cylinder to uh, mix it to keep it fresh. Okay, so every five to seven minutes the machine kicks in and it mixes the product to keep it frozen. Um, what we're going to do to get some air into the cylinder, because we're sensing that the product is a little icy or soft or dense, is we're going to open up the hopper cover. We're going to come in here, and obviously my hands are clean. Just wash them, so make sure your hands are clean. Uh, we're going to flip the air intake tube, or the feed tube, the product feed tube around. Okay. Um, so basically, we're not going to allow any more mix to get into the cylinder right now. Okay, and then we're going to come here and we're going to draw. Um, you know, this is how much you draw, um, you know, it's sort of a guess, but this is going to be about six or seven ounces of product, okay? Um, and then you can pour it right back into the back of the machine so you don't waste it, okay? Um, now, if the product's not running a cycle, which if the machine isn't running a cycle, which it's doing right now, um, you can hit auto or manual and get the cycle going. Um, and basically what you've done is you haven't allowed any more mix to go into the cylinder. You've drawn some product basically creating air inside the cylinder. And now we're running the cycle to freeze the mix that's in the cylinder with that new air that we've created so that we get a fluffier, better product coming out. Once, once it freezes what's in that cylinder again, the machine will shut off. And we can come back, flip the tube around. Okay, so that more mix can get in. So once we're going to whisk this, um, we're going to get a whisk and kind of mix it up to, to get that frozen stuff mixed in and get it back to liquid. We're going to flip the tube around once it, the cylinder's frozen, and then we're going to come back here in a minute and draw the new product, and you'll see that it should be a little fluffier and a little more consistency and harder. Okay? Thank you. Okay, so now that we've taken product and extracted it out of the machine, out of the cylinder, and put it in the back of the machine back here and mixed it up, we had turned the tube over. Okay, so essentially what we've done is we've gotten air, more air into the cylinder. Um, we turned the tube over so that no more mix could get into the cylinder. We ran a cycle so that th what's in the cylinder will freeze up with the new air and create a fluffier product. Okay, and then we got to come back here so that we don't forget because one, now the cylinder's frozen so no more liquid will get in there. We're going to turn it over. Okay, make sure your hands are clean obviously. I just washed my hands. So whenever you're messing with the tube. So now that we got the tube back in the right way so that new product can feed in when it needs it. Um, essentially we've created uh, more air in the cylinder to make the product a little fluffier, less icy and just better. Okay, so we'll check out the product now. And as you can see, you have a much just colder, nicer looking product. Okay. All right. Okay. Um, if, if the product is still after you've extracted air out of the product, 
If you're still finding that you want it a little, um, little colder or a little less dense, uh, you can just repeat the process, pull out a little bit more yogurt, don't let the liquid go in by turning over the tube, and just running another cycle and kind of seeing, you know, um, measuring it that way. And then uh, once you've got more air in it, you should get a fluffier product like I did there. Okay? Thank you.